Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. Chao Soludo says his administration has offered amnesty to agitators in the state. Over the past year, the southeast, including Anambra state, has witnessed a spate of violent attacks with security operatives bearing the major brunt of the onslaught. Speaking on the development, Saludo said his administration is ready to rehabilitate and offer skill acquisition training to those willing to surrender. On the agitation for secession in the southeast, Saludo said an ideology cannot be killed through the use of guns, adding that it is pertinent to understand the root cause of the problem. A patrol team of the Federal Road Safety Corps, comprising of an officer, a driver and two other staff, have been attacked by gunmen in Anambra State. During the attack, which occurred along the Woko route in the state, the assailants killed two personnel with one sustaining severe injuries. Reacting to the attack, the Corps Michel Baboye Oyeyemi decried the attack, giving assurances that the Corps is already working with the Nigerian Police Force and other relevant security agencies to ensure that the perpetrators of the act are arrested. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control NCDC says 127 people have died of Lassa fever in the year 2022. Disclosing this in its latest Lassa fever report for week 12 covering March 21 to March 27, the NCDC said in the reporting week the number of new confirmed cases decreased from 29 in week 11 to 22 cases. According to the report, from the beginning of the year, 3,542 suspected cases of Lassa fever were reported across the country with 681 positive cases, while in total for 2022, 23 states have recorded at least one confirmed case across 92 local government areas. And the World Health Organization has suspended supply of Bharat Biotech's COVID vaccine, Covaxin, through UN procurement agencies and recommended to countries that receive the vaccine to take actions as appropriate. In a statement by the WHO, the suspension is in response to the outcomes of WHO post-emergency use list and inspection and they need to conduct process and facility upgrades to address identified deficiencies. However, as a preventive measure, Bharat Biotech has indicated its commitment to suspend production of Covaxin for exports. And in business, Nigeria's commercial capital, Lagos State, received at least 86.9% of the capital imported into the country in 2021. This is according to data from the National Bureau of Statistics. In its latest report, the NBS revealed the region with the second highest figure was the Federal Capital Territory with 12.4% of the over $6.7 billion worth of capital imported into the country in 2021. It also added that at least 24 other states recorded zero capital importation or had unavailable data for the same period. On the global scene, the billionaire founder of Tesla, Elon Musk, has bought a 9.2% stake in microblogging site Twitter, sending the social media network stock soaring and igniting a speculation he could seek an active role in its operations. According to a document filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SAC, the South African-born billionaire acquired nearly 73.5 million Twitter shares and based on the last closing price of the company's stock, his investment amounts to nearly 2.9 billion dollars following the announcement twitter's shares soared 25.8 percent and with this deal musk has more than quadrupled the shares of twitter's founder jack dorsey who owns 2.25 percent and in sports, Manchester United's interim manager Ralph Rangnick has revealed that the club side will need about two seasons for considerable successes to be recorded. The Red Devils have been on a roller coaster form in recent weeks, drawing three, losing two, and boasting of a single victory that came against Antonio Conte's Tottenham in mid match. In a post match interview, Rangnick confirmed that conversations were already on the way about what needs to change going forward as the club currently sits seventh in the Premier league table. Well, that's all on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Mary Kanu.